So yeah, you need to sand your floor, but you can't be asked actually emptying the room from furniture. And you might just have a big sanding machine at home at your disposal, but it needs to be be returned like, you know, less than 24 hours. So even though I didn't feel like sanding my floor, I still felt like sanding my floor since I had the opportunity and why not grasp the opportunity rather than let it go to waste. So uh, this is why I just started sanding my floors uh, without actually emptying the room, just sliding all the stuff to one side and then oiling it down or wax and oil and then move all the stuff to the other side. And conveniently in the middle of this, my kids gave me a bit of a cold, so I was uh, lying down sick with fever in the middle of this, but I actually did return the uh, large machine in time and did all the uh, extra small bits and bobs around the edges, which took a hell of a lot of time. And I actually did injure myself, being a bit risky with a angle grinder. So uh, be careful as you always, as usual and always, yes, be careful. Um, my cold's getting better and the floor is now actually finished and it turned out nice. Some may argue that the floor didn't need sanding, but you know, this is Sweden and it's trendy to just renovate anything because what else is there to do indoors during the winter? Because we've had an extended winter this year. It's supposed to be spring now, but it's still snow outside. Watch my previous video in case in doubt. Anyhow, the end result was nice for me. It's worth doing even though it does take a bit more consideration to the whole project rather than just sanding an empty room. But anyhow, it did turn out nice, so if you're one of those people like me who just grasp opportunities, why not? You can do it. You can do it. Just do it. Come on.